Hi guys, I'm Mike, and this is another Raid Shadow Legends video. As you can see, the portal is purple, so it's time for a two times on void shards. I don't have that many void shards left because of the events of the last couple of weeks, but still I didn't want to pass this opportunity by to get some new champions potentially. And that's mainly because of the new Hydra boss for example. I really really need an Inquisitor Shamal to protect my team from the fears that the Hydra places. But aiming for a particular champion is of course a very very long shot, so we'll just need to be very very lucky indeed. But still, I want to give it a try. And luckily I was able to scrape a couple of extra void shards together by doing Doom Tower for example, where I have just cleared Bommel on level 90 today, which gave me a void shard. I was finally able to get Fergus into regeneration gear, which made him able to solo the boss. But it's been quite a journey to get there, I have to say. Glad I got it done, though. Just gonna do a 10 pull first and then 7 singles. And let's see what comes out. Maybe we'll be very lucky today. Let's hope so. Here we go. I really hate doing 10 pulls, uh, to be honest, but still. Oh, a legendary! What's that? Krisk! We've got a Krisk! Wow! Oh my goodness! That's perhaps the best champion in the entire game! Wow! Okay, I'm never, ever, ever going to say that 10 pulls are not the way to go. Wow, we got a Krisk, dudes. Look at this. This is the most terrific turtle in the entire game. I don't know if there's any other turtles, but he's just such a fantastic champion. Wow, we got a Krisk. Holy moly, this is incredible. And we still have seven shards left too. Wow, I'm never going to forget this image. This is just incredible. And another cold heart. That's number three, so not really all that useful. But still, maybe I want to make a team with three cold hearts eventually. But damn, we have Krisk the Ageless. Wow. Okay, and now moving on to seven single shards. And after that, I also have three on the free-to-play account. But wow, this has been fantastic already. We pulled a freaking Krisk. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, seven more shards. Let's see what this will give us. An epic. Ah, Runekeeper Dazdurk. Not a really bad champion. Perhaps I'll use him in my Dwarf Faction Wars team. Come on, next shard. And another epic. Ah, oh, great, a Warcaster. When I started playing the game, I pulled this guy and I thought he was a crappy champion. So this is one of the very, very few epic champions that I have fed to another champion that I really regretted later on. But now we got him again, so that's good. Very nice to have you back, Warcaster. Okay, five more to go. Here we go, come on. What's this? Okay, uh, Reliquary Tender's Ugly Sister again. Okay, four more. Come on! Panthera. Not bad, but not useful more for my account anymore. Oh, Scrapper. <laughs> okay, next. Another blue. Fanatic. Really, really creepy model, this. Ugh. Oh well. It's mainly the twitch that he does with his head that gives me the creeps. One last shard on the main account and then moving on to the free-to-play. Come on, what, what are we gonna get? Gear grinder. Okay, gear grinder number 20 or something. Very nice champ, have him on my Ogryn Tribes Faction Wars team. Because he's a great option as a revival champ. So, pretty good. Okay, moving on to the free-to-play account. Just wanted to quickly say that I also have a couple of champs standing by from fragment summons from the past. So, if I can get a legendary book by summoning any one of these, then I will. But just as a tip for you guys, if you ever get a fragment summon completed, don't summon it straight away. But keep the champion for when you have a champion chase tournament going on, for example. Because then it will provide you with extra rewards. 
Okay, ready for three more shards on the free-to-play. Wow, we've been so lucky. We pulled a Krisk. Oh my goodness, I just can't contain myself. It, this is such an amazing champion. He's going to be mind-blowing for my account. Absolutely mind-blowing. So, let's see what comes out of these guys. Three shards, and who knows? Maybe a legendary as well. So, here we go. Come on. Long loading time. Not always a good sign, it seems. Okay, Huntress. Not that impressive. Two more. Come on. Give the free-to-play something great. Come on. Ifrit is not that great either. If it's gonna be a blue, then something like a Reliquary Tender or a Cold Heart, perhaps. So, one more shard to pull. Let's hope it's something incredible. Come on. Come on, you guys. What are we gonna get? Is it gonna be something awesome? Oh, oh, that's a pity. Still, I don't care. We pulled freaking Krisk. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, this one. The big one. The turtle. And no, Plarium, I'm not buying your packs on the free-to-play. Thank you very much. I can't believe how lucky we were. We pulled Krisk, which is arguably perhaps the best champion in the entire game. So this is huge. This is just a huge pull for my account. Even for my main account, it's just a fantastic addition. Incredible. So I hope you guys will have the same kind of luck that I had. If you are pulling shards yourselves. And I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And maybe subscribe to the channel for more Raid Shadow Legends videos. I wish you guys a very nice day. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.